Hello and welcome to Guangzhou for the second leg of the FINA NVC Diving World Series. Three days worth of competition at the AOT Swimming Nestorium in Guangzhou. Second of the World Series events to be held in Beijing and now in Guangzhou. And uh, many of the world's top divers in China this week. See what they could do in the various events. We'll start with the synchro platform events. Women and men coming back to back. And, uh, well, will the Chinese go through the card here? They didn't last week, of course. But uh, they'll be looking in front of their home crowd to do the business again. And the uh, first two events, they certainly are the favorites in women's 10 meter synchro, men's 10 meter synchro. Later in the day, we'll have the final of the women's three and the men's three. All that a lot later in the day. Eight go to start in the women's. And it's a pretty solid lineup. Some new names this year. Some uh, different combinations from what we're used to seeing. There'll be a couple of uh, new divers to you. Maybe new divers to me as well in this competition. Chinese as ever. Pretty much as ever. Going last in the event. And for those who aren't acquainted with how the synchro works. First two rounds, well, by the way, it's five rounds for women, six rounds for men. So we'll have five rounds here, but the first two rounds, both in the men's and the women, are worth exactly the same tariff. So these are the required dives. Then you have the uh, selections that you make, the optionals later on. They have to be done in the different categories, of course. But uh, we'll start with all the 2.0s. In fact, we will start with the reverse dive being done by the Russians, by the Mexicans, and by the USA. And also later in the program by Malaysia as well. Then we get into the higher tariff dives, up to the uh, 3.1s generally. But there are some new combinations here in Guangzhou. And uh, we'll get a list here of who the officials are. You is the referee. And officials will come from all over Europe and across the countries to represent. There we go. Execution judges, where you'll see two lots of different marks on your screen. Judges are looking just for the dive themselves and those looking for the synchronicity of the divers. So they'll be looking for completely different things. And as ever, when we get to the marking, you'll see that certain marks will either be greyed out or they have lines through them. That means that they do not count towards the total. And then what happens is it's multiplied by the degree of difficulty. And that's how we arrive at the final mark. So in order, it will be Russia, Mexico, USA, Great Britain, Canada, the People's Republic of Korea, Malaysia and China. There's the confirmation for you. And there will be some new names in there, some new combinations. The Chinese and the Malaysians are fairly well established, as indeed the British pair are now. But there are some uh, mix and matches as uh, things start to work towards the Tokyo cycle, with Rio well behind us now. Everybody's trying to get their uh, combinations right for maybe the World Championships later this year in Belgrade, uh, sorry, in um, Budapest in Hungary in July and the Olympic Games in Japan in 2020. So as I mentioned, all the opening dives in rounds one and two will be 2.0 and Timoshanina and Belova of Russia will go with the reverse dive. Mm, not a great deal of symmetry, went in pretty much at the same time, but if you notice there, you should be able to see just one diver as they enter if they've got themselves together. Took off reasonably well. Landed slightly different times though, and that will be caught by the eye of the judges. I will say my uh, threshold is 50. 50 is what you should be aiming at, 50 plus, and they come up short. Synchronization marks on the right hand side, execution on the left, so 48.6 is how they start. As we move on to a new Mexican pairing of 
Orozco Losa and De Angel Peniche. They do with the reverse dive. Ooh, no. Both slightly out of, not sync this time, but in terms of the entry position of the body. Just couldn't quite whip those legs around quickly enough. That's going to be a slightly lower mark for the Mexicans. You can look there. Yeah, basically, El Angel Peniche just not quite getting a body round for the entry. And uh, the marks reflect that. Two weights on synchro, 7.5. Again, the lines through indicate they did not add up with the marks. Now here's a new American pairing. Delaney Shell and Taryn Gilliland. American uh, men have been doing very well in synchro in recent times. So women starting to make a bit of a move. And uh, Gilliland is the youngest competitor in this at uh, 14 years of age. Oh, bit of a rush to the water as well. <laughs> she got there. And in fact, uh, they kind of caught each other up. I'm not sure they quite took off at the same time, but they landed more or less the same time. Yeah. Kind of, uh, when's the water going to hit me? Well, it just hit me on the back of the shoulder, actually, is what happened. And the marks are 48. So the synchro was all right. Execution slightly down, so 7.5s and an 8 will count. As we move on to the Great Britain couple. And uh, this is the... That's a new pairing. It's been going for a year. It used to be uh, Tonya Couch and Sarah Barrow. Sarah Barrow now retired. And Lois Tolson has been her partner for the last 12 months. And uh, they're going to go a slight difference from what we've seen in the opening three dives. Back die for them. Still worth the same tariff, though. Still worth 2.0. Tony with the count in. And a little bit of splash from Lois on the far side, but that's OK. The uh, British contingent here happy enough with that. Should be getting uh, 49s, maybe 50s for that. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Just a little bit of extra splash, a bit more splash from Tonya, funny enough, closest to us, who was doing the counting. But that is a, a decent mark, 49.80. And uh, at the moment, just puts them slightly in front. Don't read too much into the first two rounds, though. There won't be much between the eight pairings. Now, uh, Kenny McKay, very inexperienced, up against the really experienced Megan Benfito. Yeah, trying to help her through on this. They're going for a back dive as well, so uh, same as the Brits. Back in with the count in. Yeah, it looked a little bit scruffy, actually, on entry. Not quite as uh, symmetrical as they would have liked. Takeoff good, height different, that's the problem. And that is the problem on synchro. If you leap off the ball at different heights, it's very difficult to make it up. And uh, synchro marks are okay. Excuse me, yeah, it, it's solid, not being spectacular. Couple of eights on the left, 8.5 on the right. And uh, much of a muchness at the moment, which may well change very soon. Uh, this pairing, the two Kims from the People's Republic of Korea, burst on the scene the last couple of years and uh, took it by storm and are uh, getting better all the time. This is their back dive. Wait for them to go 50 plus on this. Well, it depends what the judges saw. They saw what we saw. There was quite a big gap between them when they entered the pool. Now, sometimes judges pick up on that, and sometimes they don't. Took off well. Synchro's decent, but there, you can see, they're landing in completely different parts of the pool. But I think it'll probably be enough for them to go 50 plus. 50.40. Yeah, I don't know. It's another interpretation call to me, if you're landing in different places, and perhaps uh, 
synchro marks should be reflecting that, but 50.40 is the best we've seen so far. And uh, here we have Panda Pang on the far side, and Yun Chiong of Malaysia, and uh, reverse dive going back to where we started with this one. Great height. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Great height by the Malaysians. And nice entry by both. And that should be the best marks we've seen so far. Like that a lot. Yeah, minimum of splash also entry. So 51 plus. I reckon. Well, should be. So he deserves it. 54. Better than that. Three nines on synchro. Two nines on execution. That was really nice from the Malaysians. And uh, just throwing down the gauntlet early on because these will be the two to beat, as usual. Uh, this is a, a routine dive for them, back dive. Ren Chen and Chang Yani. Scored a beat 54 for the Malaysians. Yeah, they like it. I imagine the judges quite like it. Again, in terms of where they enter the water, not together. But I don't think that will matter with the marks. In fact, slightly out, as you can see on that replay. Not quite in at the same time, but they'll certainly pick up some decent marks. So they have exactly the same marks, in fact, as the Malaysians. 54, I think that dive was as good, personally, but... Judges interpret it exactly the same way. So at the end of the first round of five with the eight pairings is how they shape up. And uh, nothing really will start to change much until round three. So China and Malaysia together. And People's Republic of Korea, Great Britain, Canada, Russia, USA, Mexico with uh, that new combination number eight. Even this early in the stage in the season, you'll notice just how much tape there is on the shoulders of the Chinese. They work incessantly. So one of the best nations in the world at diving. They work very, very hard day in, day out. But uh, the toll it takes on the body, off the 10 meter ball particularly, you won't see uh, the other pairings have as much strapping as they've got. Now, this is a a new combination for 2017. Timishanina has been around for a while. So, yeah, two years older than her partner here. Valeria Belova. And they're going to go with their back dive. Verse in the first, back in the second. Ooh, I thought she was going to lose it there. Hands were all over the place going into entry, but just about got them back in time. Now, if you look at that, look on the far side. Hands are just, ooh, just kind of slipped off and then... Yeah, it's not aesthetically pleasing for the Russians, I'm afraid. And uh, that's reflected in the marks, 45. i say the benchmark for me is always 50. If you're getting 50, then you've done a pretty decent effort, but uh, that's well below par for the Russians. Even at this stage, might find themselves a little bit adrift. They were in the opening round, and so they are here. This is the uh, coming together pair, if you like, in terms of uh, working their way through. Oscar Loza and uh, Angel Finici with their back dive. <laughs> A lot of silence around the Guangzhou Natatorium. People were overly fussed on that. And I think the marks will reflect that, too. It was a little bit scruffy by both of them, to be honest, and an awful lot of splash on entry, which will catch the attention of the judges. They'll mark that down accordingly. And 45 is what they get. Seven and a half so across the board, both synchro and execution. And so is the marks that count, anyway. I think we've already seen the uh, have and the have-nots in this competition. Well, we don't know much about... Um, Taryn 
Gilliland. She's uh, new to all this, 14 years of age. Obviously uh, got great potential, been uh, partnered with Delaney Shell, who's only uh, 19, about 18 now. Here comes their back dive. Again, in terms of preparation for entry, the yeah, arms are a little bit wavering, a little bit uh, sloppy. Look at the, just, ooh, yeah, they come out at different times as well, which again will be caught by the eagle eyes of the judges. But 49.2 will be okay. 49.2 will take them up towards 100, but just shy of that 50 I was talking about. Tonya Couch will be uh, thinking about the individual 10 as well. Such a consistent performer and on her day can uh, definitely push the Chinese and the others. There she is paired with Lois Tolson again. Reverse dive for the Brits. Yeah, all right. That's not bad. That's an improvement on their first round. They should be uh, looking to get around about 50. Wasn't too much wrong with that. Splash kept to a minimum, and that will be an improvement on round one. Yeah, Sitko was very good on that. So, I think the uh, judges should reward them, and they do. 85, sorry, 8.5 on Synchro, and uh, 8.5 at 8 on Execution. And that's the first 50 plus score for Great Britain in this competition. Megan Benfito, not in picture. She's on the far side, been around for a long time, and uh, we'll be uh, trying to teach her young synchro partner the ropes as they get ready and prepared with Kaylee McKay for a reverse dive. Well, McKay's dive was not great. Megan, right on point. So. Megan will get the points, but I'm afraid Kaylee will knock her back a bit because just hasn't quite got it. See, look at the body shape going in. Just tries to bring it around and um, just a little bit too late on entry, which is why we get that sudden explosion of water. And uh, Synchro was okay, execution mixed. 7.5, 8.5. But again, nothing really starts to shake up and shape up at this stage with the points. They weren't really... Uh, be much of a differential going into round three. Two Kims from People's Republic of Korea. Their second required dive is a reverse dive. Ooh, they're a long way out from the platform on there. Projected themselves. Now, just look how far they get away from the board. Long way. <laughs> just a measure of where they were, but nonetheless, everything else about the dive was pretty good. And uh, it's reflected in the scores. 53.40, safe as safe can be. And that will put them in the lead for the time being. Three and a half points above Great Britain. Two Malaysians. Handler picked up so many medals. Got a medal in every major competition. Olympics, Commonwealth Games, plenty of World Series medals. Here with Yun Chong and their back dive. That was quick, it was rapid, and it was pretty decent in the end. The entry was very good from both of them. And they've uh, had two solid dives to start with. Very nice, very nice indeed out at slightly different times but the speed at which the dive takes place maybe that wasn't spotted by the officials and 54 is a very very good start indeed they got nines across the board in their opening dives 9.5 on that one and uh, they now take over at the top uh, this is a uh, meat and drink to these two well, the uh, opening dive, the Malaysians were better, but judges gave them exactly the same marks. 
Let's see how the last of the required dives, the reverse dive, goes for the Chinese. I think the answer is very good, actually. <laughs> I think that's going to be nine and a half pretty much across the board because execution was great and synchro was equally impressive. And if I don't get nine and a half on this, I'll be very surprised. Just a little bit of splash on entry, which might knock them back half a mark or so, but 9.5 is what I'm expecting. And 9.5s is pretty much what we get, so the execution-wise, synchro a little less, but highest mark we've seen so far, 55.80. And already they are in front. Not by a massive margin. Malaysians are tracking them all the way. Then it's the North Koreans. Great Britain in fourth, USA, Canada, Russia and Mexico among the pairings who haven't reached the 100 mark yet. Well, to all intents and purposes, this is where the competition starts because we have the selected dives, the optionals. Of course, you have to go through all the different categories. We'll see a forward dive from Russia to start off things. And I'll see the... Uh, complication of the dives they were fairly routine the ones we've seen so far so where it gets a little bit more complicated and this is where you'll be able to spot the differential if there is a problem four three and a half for Timoshanina and Belova first of the three point zeros and takeoff is so key on this yeah I'm afraid I've used the word about their diving today already scruffy I'm afraid that was scruffy again just well they took off about the same time went to their spin cycle and the landings were not that brilliant to be honest so in terms of synchro not too bad but you can see the uh, explosion of water on the entry and that will knock them back a bit sevens sevens are not bad but in this quality of competition sevens is not going to get the job done and uh all right, let's put them in first place for the time being. They won't stay there for long, I don't think. All the divers in this round are doing exactly the same dive. So you can compare and contrast. All eight pairs doing the forward three and a half. Mexican coach ready to record it. Yeah, again, the telltale sign, which will get them marked down. Here's the uh, amount of splash on entry. And they weren't really, well, they, they were together and they were untogether. And then both went at uh, slightly 45 degree angle. So I'm afraid that's going to knock them back considerably. Can't expect big marks with that. And they don't get them. 64.80. Chinese coach. Mexico as well these days. On to the USA. I was just preparing, I thought we were going to go for it, but they were just uh, going through the routine. Let's see, every single pair in round three going for the same die. I haven't really seen it uh, down to its best extent yet, the four, three and a half. Let's see what the Americans can do. Mm. Not quite sure where that went wrong. But it, about two thirds of the way through, I thought they've got a bit of a recovery act to do here. It's um, it's all right, it's solid enough, but it's not going to get them any big prizes, and they've landed in the water at the different times. Takeoff was pretty good, so I'm trying to work out exactly where they went. Two thirds of the way down, thinking this could be uh, catastrophic, and uh, the preparation for entry was uh, a little bit askew. Yeah. The coach is uh, just reiterating what I was saying there. Entries are what's letting the Americans down. Now, these two have been together for a fair while now, about a year or so. Training down in Plymouth. Tonya Couch and Lois Tolson. I think I like this dive. But, uh, and so far. No big marks coming before them. Tony Wood of the County. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. It's okay. Tony will look back at that. I think I could have done that a little bit better. In fact, she, I think, arrives marginally in front of Lois on entry. And uh, just a little bit more splash than she would have liked. There you go. There's the explosion, which kind of uh, indicates that her entry position should be able to rip through the water. Which, while the Chinese do this, is uh, punch a hole in the water. And that means that you get very little splash coming up behind you. Judges only have a very short time in which to take in what's happened. And if uh, there's a massive plume of water behind you, that tends to uh, be a bit of a telltale sign now. OK, and Benfito for Canada. Oh, again. See, you can see, the entries looked all right, actually. They're quite way off on the board, but that won't count against her. But I'm afraid the younger of the two Canadians just... Uh, getting her entry wrong. In fact, I think, if anything, starting to topple over. Both of them uh, are a little bit off from where they'd like to be. Megan, better, but only 65. We haven't really seen anybody nail this dive yet of the ones that have gone so far. We are five of the eight gone, but I think things will change with the next three pairings, who are in positions three, two, and one after round two. Kim Cook Hyang and Kim Mi Rae of North Korea, People's Republic of Korea. Same dive. Well, again, do you know what? It's a little bugbear of mine there. Is they actually took off and then separated out. Look, there you go. There's a gap between them. So synchronized wise, to me that's not synchronicity, but it's when they land in the water that's concerning the officials and they didn't land at the same time there either so that should be marked down for two reasons is they were separated out but again i don't think it is 8.5 is a little bit generous maybe but uh, that will take them into the lead by 15 over the usa i think it's a straightforward shootout the way things are looking between the next two pairings to be honest they've been the most consistent with the required dives and these two are the most experienced combination in the field. Panda Le Pang and Yun Chiong. Nice. Oh, yes, nice. Very nice. That's three good dives back to back. Look at that. Take off together. Synchronicity. Yeah, they land more or less together. A little bit of a gap between them, but. I like that, and I think the judges will like it too. That's the best we've seen, anyway, of the four, three and a half of all the combinations, and should be reflected in the scores. 8.5s in synchro, eight in execution, and yes, they do go into the lead by three over the People's Republic of Korea. First real test for the Chinese. Reverse dives are never normally a problem for them. To be honest, when the rest of the program isn't either, but let's see how their four or three and a half goes. Mm, they will have done that better. Rather muted reaction in the IoT swimming natatorium. Well, I think the relations might have gone into the lead here, because that is not, well, it's very tight, very tight indeed. And actually, that was not by Chinese terms a particularly impressive dive and will probably be reflected or will it be reflected in the scores here they come yeah eight and eight point fives one nine on execution that gets counted out and well we have uh, joint leaders joint leaders after round three the Chinese and the Malaysians I did say it'd be between these two I think it still will be North Korea in third. USA have moved just marginally above Great Britain for fourth place. Yeah, she's happy enough with it, but I'm not sure the coaches will be particularly. 
That uh, nice ripped entry that Chinese have as their trademark was not there. And uh, Ren and Chang have been as a partnership together for a while now. We're uh, ever present and ever victorious on the circuit last year in this event. Now, round four for the Russians. In with three and a half some sorts with Tuck for Timoshanina and Belova. Mm. <laughs> heard, heard, well, heard a whelp of delight from somebody. I imagine it must have been Russian because the Russians have not been on their game today at all. And that's another very poor effort. And the marks will reflect that. Certainly on uh, execution, anyway. Sicker marks will probably be quite symmetrical, but that's. Ooh. Entries on both sides. Kind of, they were. One was uh, yielding a bit to the left, one was yielding to the right. And uh, 69.12 is the best mark they've had so far. But they need to be up in the 70s to really make any inroads, and that was uh, short of it. Work in progress for the Mexicans. I think they're here for experience, and they probably will be for all of the World Series. As uh, Oscar Losa and Del Angel Peniche going with there. In with three and a half, all the divers in this round doing exactly the same dive as they did in round three. Washing machine time. <laughs> or tumble dryer, if you prefer. Just a lot of spinning and uh, not under control, but totally out of control. They should be going down together, and they didn't even enter together. That's going to be um, the worst mark of this round by quite some way. Execution was atrocious. So I'm afraid the work in progress will have to uh, carry on a pace because the uh, execution mark, five and seven, and 5.5 .5 on synchro. Wasn't anything really to recommend that dive. On to the Americans with the uh, youngest competitor at the age of 14, turned 14 in September. Did uh, Taryn Gilliland up against or competing with Delaney Schnell. And as I mentioned, every single pair in this round will do the inward three and a half with Tuck, worth 3.2 in terms of degree of difficulty. Mm, if there hadn't been over rotation on entry, that would have been, I think, okay. But it's uh, sadly the youngster giving a little bit too much gusto there. Yeah, and uh, gets herself back in. Well, didn't time her entry particularly well. It's kind of waiting for the water to come to her around the other way around. And that will be reflected in the scores. Yeah, they get over 70, though. So first time they've been in that area before now. Seven and a half is, is solid. Now, if they're going to get into the top three, Tonya and Lois need to nail this. I think they've been slightly off their game thus far. Not, not massively, but enough that they're not competing for the top three at the moment. This could change all that. 71.5 will put them in the lead for the time being at least. And here comes their inward three and a half. Yep. One, two, three, go. No, ragged. Very ragged, I'm afraid. Both of them uh, culpable there. Again, height good. All good there, and then suddenly Lois just comes out of a tuck position. Uh, Mark may uh, applaud, but he, he'll know that's not as good as it could have been. And the marks will reflect that. Yeah, 67.20. Again, it's not too far away from being quite good, but those entries are letting them down, and that will not help their propulsion up the standings by any means. Sixth place for the New Canadian pairing. You'll recognize, I'm sure, Megan Benfito. She's been on the circuit for quite some time. New to us and new to all this, Kaylee McKay. Yep. One, two, three, 
better. Much, much better. Yeah, <laughs> and the, that's reflected in the reaction of the Canadian coaches. Arturo very happy with that. That was that was pretty good, actually. Slightly out of rotation, but entries were okay. And uh, just ripping a hole in the water. It's a fair amount of splash, but that, that is by far their best. And uh, they'll be happy because that will move them up a, probably a place or two. Yes, it will. It's only 4.88. Uh, to 7.5 and 8, they are delighted with that because it's uh, appearing in its infancy and uh, that will be a big notch in the right direction. Now on to the Koreans who uh, have been steadfastly in third place all the way through so far. They're in with three and a half. Just need uh, six and a half to go into the lead on this. Well, six and a halfs they will get. Won't get big marks on that, though. Probably seven and a halfs. So the uh, coach is trying to influence the judges, but I don't think, um, well, might get eights, might get eights on that. On reflection, execution a little bit off for uh, one of the Kims. <laughs> and, uh, well, to me, the synchronicity was out, but Eight is what they get. There's a ten on execution, which I think is very generous. But it's not going to count towards the total. There's a seven and a nine. And uh, that'll be enough to put them in front. And in front by a substantial margin, 19 points over the Canadians. Still looking pretty much for me with uh, two more rounds to go for these last two pairings to be between Malaysia and China. And so it's proving to be on the scoreboard. Malaysia pushing China, they are level. Panzala and Yun with their inward three and a half somersaults. Mm. Oh, they were wanting to get that one back again in terms of entries because everything else up to the time they entered the water looked pretty good to me. Good there, good there, good there, good there, and then... Oh, she just lost her legs. Lost her legs on entry. What a shame, because everything else looked pretty decent there until just them. And uh, one Malaysian lost her legs, the other produced quite a bit of splash, and that will be detected by the judges who will mark them down accordingly. So that's parity with Chinese may only last one round because uh, Ren and Chang probably not going to uh, do the same thing. I say, just look at the amount of tape on that body. Arm, back. It's early stages of the World Series for them. Last example of the inward three and a half. Oh, that was... Well, they like it. Um, I've got to say I didn't particularly. I didn't think it was that great. Didn't think it was that great at all, to be honest. I think it's probably good enough to put them in the lead, but that's a little, by Chinese standards, that was very ragged. Look at the entries. Boom, boom. Now, Synchro should be knocked down for that. They can uh, clap all they like, but I thought the Synchro was ragged. And they should be getting eights, or maybe 7.5s on that. What have they got? 8.5s. Yeah, 80.56. Probably there's an example for me of them being marked up. Puts them in front by nine points. But uh, that's not as good as they could do that by quite some way. Anyway, what matters is how the judges interpreted it and where they put the Chinese, which is top of the pile. Malaysia in second and third place now behind North Korea. Very tight for second place. And there's a bit of a gap opening between the rest. Canada the best of the rest. Last round. There's still a chance for the chasing pack to maybe bridge that gap, although there's a bit of a chasm opening up now. 17 points between Malaysia and Canada and 20 points between Malaysia and Great and the United States. 24 between Malaysia and Great Britain. So probably going to find the top three will be the top three 
at the end of this round. Back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists with Pike for the Russian pair. I don't recall any dive they've done today that has been aesthetically pleasing. I think she's got copious amounts of notes to make on this because they've been ragged all the way through, either on execution or synchro. And well, they just got further and further apart there. So it's not going to be Russia's day in terms of medals. And that's only 71.04. It's been a, well, Belova and Timoshanina again is a new combination. So we can't expect too much early on, I suppose, but that was uh, not that impressive. Now, we are going to get some different dives. In fact, we're going to get one different dive before we go to the same from three to eight. It's forward one and a half somersaults, one twist. Now, this is a 2.1 degree of difficulty, so that will be reflected in the scores. A relatively comfortable dive in terms of tariff. Not particularly comfortable in the way it was done, to be honest. Oscar Loza and Del Angel Pinice. It's all right. It's an unusual dive. Four one and a half with one twist. Don't see that very often in synchro. And the marks will uh, reflect that, I think. Yeah, don't quite hit the 50 on what, in effect, is a required dive in terms of uh, degree of difficulty. On to the Americans, who are in fifth place. And if they have any uh, hopes of getting close to the medals, this has to be the best they've done today. And all the remaining pairs will do this. 3.2 degree of difficulty, back two and a half somersaults with one and a half twists. I'm not quite sure what happened to uh, Taryn on that one, but she and the lady look like they might be possibly doing different dives. Um, she got it together on entry, but I'm afraid the execution marks are going to cane her for that. If that uh, Arms was never quite where they should have been. Kind of the tuck position at different times. And uh, execution 5.5 and 7. Seven's on synchro. And uh, that's also a work in progress. GB contingent making their voices heard. Not going to be Tonya and Lois's day today. They have uh, picked up medals in World Series last year, but this is not going to be a medal today. There's Jack Law. And uh, so, Nick Robinson Baker behind him. Back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists, as all the remaining divers will do. That's their best. That is their best so far. And the marks should reflect that. It's not going to be good enough to get them into the medals, but uh, that's much more solid. Lois may be hitting the water a fraction before Tonya, but it was marginal, and that will be a decent mark for them, or should be at least. Yeah, three eights on the right, 8.5 and 8 on the left, so that's the highest mark to fish with. Always good to fish on a high. And that's what they have, 77.76. No medal for the Brits today, but they will uh, sure come again. They will come again many more times during the course of this summer. Kaylee McKay and Megan Benfito. Well, they are the nearest challengers to the top three. And uh, if they could get this right, might just put a bit of pressure on Malaysia for the. We are back live. Sorry, you missed the uh, previous two dives. See that uh, Canada got 76.80. Great dive from the North Koreans, 83.52. has projected them into first place. And that means the Chinese need to get 75 on this. Eight across the board to take the gold. Korea in first place at the moment. Malaysia in second. But this should be the gold medal dive from the Chinese. 
and is, though quite a bit of splash. Not perfect, and they haven't been today. They've been slightly off their game, but when they're slightly off the game, they're still too good for everybody else in the field. And uh, the marks from the North Koreans were 83. That will be maybe slightly less, but they had a big enough margin not to have to worry about that too much. Execution and synchro, not as good as they do it on a regular basis. The entry was quite scruffy, to be honest. But uh, they had a big margin for error, and uh, they used a bit of it to get first place. So China win by only eight points in the end. Good uh, solid series of dives from the North Koreans. And that's the one, two, three. China winning by eight, seven between North Korea and Malaysia, and then quite a big gap between the Malaysians, Canada, Great Britain, USA, Russia, and uh, the Mexicans. So China get the goal we expected in the opening event in Guangzhou, not quite as comfortably as we would have predicted, and uh, coach will be working assiduously to try and make sure those errors are corrected and it is uh, China, Korea, Malaysia, one, two, three.